recorded in the immediate period before the holiday, the Christmas holiday. I'm in the kitchen. As you can hear, I'm running the path and soon I'll shave using the sink that's to the immediate right of the bath. I'm not sure exactly what I'll do for dirty, although when I finished eating toast black currant jam to So maybe a cup of tea. I'll take my four sheets in to the leafleting office in Tetford. I finished leafleting for this year now, and I entered the information at the terminal at local library yesterday afternoon. Uh, to finishing doing virtually a whole sheet of rows, the final one in the town of Townham or the Townham area. Maybe two or three roads were outside of Downham. So when I of the leaflets, I might do a bit of shopping at local shops in Hepford, where the office is situated, then return to the flats. A lot of <laughs> jobs I want to at least attempt to finish off before returning to my parents' house in Jersey next Monday. Night, for instance, I finished off five cassette tape sleeves and did two for ZDRs. And in addition, I have a whole load of LPs in the front room I haven't listened to. Then there's work on text pieces that I'll no doubt continue in. Jersey. Wednesday, Hassos is coming around here at about 2 p.m. He was originally due to come around here today, but he phoned yesterday morning, I think it was, to bring forward the appointment. Then on Thursday, I'm meeting Hutch and Sue at L Lambeth North Cube, so we can visit this new venue, uh, cafe. And originally, we were doing a performance at the pub, the Rose and Crown, but I don't want to tell you too many details here, but Jonathan put on a concert there, and the uh, the landlord and bar staff were irritated because of the volume of the music I played there with Richard Crow and Dylan Knight. Kiss and someone else from Brighton did solo performances. They didn't like the fact of the noise and people had brought alcohol to the pub. Dylan was swigging a bottle of beer and handed it over to one of the bar staff when he's finished it during a mild confrontation. So we've had to find another venue. Incidentally, obviously, myself, Sue and Hutch had 
been alternating this pub with the Hock House one in Pennington to Crumpets seated in the toaster half circle of white with a textured pockmarked surface on the front visible. I'll put the two slices of bread into the toaster later on. I suppose I'll arrive at the leafleting office now after 10 a.m. Fact, the concert is on Saturday at this cafe because it was moved forward from Thursday. Well, obviously the Thursday one was at the Rose and Crown pub and I don't know yet whether I'll take uh, that's my small amplifier or use the sound system there. Unfortunately, the bass player is not able to make it for our trio with Matsui, the Japanese guitarist. But Matsui is turning up, so the two of us will do a set. And I might do a text piece with Sue Hutch and maybe someone else. Very chilly and my yellow towel is on the Morphe Richards heater that my parents let me have when I first moved into this flat in late 2000. I still got to shave and immerse myself in the water as on numerous previous tapes I'll be reading from a fairly wide selection of paperbacks that I may or may not identify at a later stage in this recording. No doubt be recording another tape to cover the actual holiday period so this tape should last until Sunday he's determined to go to Saudi that takes us all the way back to 9-11 but prior to 9-11 he won't so now in the US authorities in Guantanamo are saying you know you can go but you've got to go to Saudi now he doesn't want to go to Saudi Saudi can open the lid peel back like a metallic dog's tongue to reveal the headless fish and the jar of black currant jam only three inches to the right. Super value black currant jam an illustration of the shining Perry's on the front with leaves behind the back around out of focus. Storage instruction store in a cool, dry place. Opening instructions. Once open, keep refrigerated and consume within six weeks and by date shown suitable for vegetarians I won't read any more information oh no I've changed my mind I will read a bit more energy 1047 kj protein 0.5 g fat 0.5 g fiber 2.8 G. Accused of, That's sorry, right, accused yeah. of yeah. committing a crime. Uh, As of yet, I don't believe this individual has been accused no. of any crime. Therefore, he should be freed. This is a human being that we're talking about. We know that the individuals that have chosen to detain him have made countless mistakes. Mike, by a couple of pack 
stacks of Christmas cards. I've not sent out any, but have received six or seven. Second, planned works and service changes may affect your journey, particularly between the 21st of December and the 4th of January. To make the most of London, know your travel options. I might also consume a tangerine. I don't have the energy for an orange because it involves very tough peel, even if you use a knife. That you can use to get a winter safety check. I'm not sure about a cup of tea, however. I might drink a small cup of fizzy water, actually flavoured water. Visual vehicle inspection only. Available at participating retailers. Years of his long life, needing around the clock support for his frailties from his family. But it didn't matter. He lived with my uncle, and he was revered in his old age. visiting the library and bought such items as pork chops, peas and plum tomatoes, but hot to buy two very important items in my meals, that's sausages and bacon. That's why I'm not able to make myself a fried meal this morning. Lark descending. Thank you very much for that, John. Well, it was in fact the bass tuba concerto by Vaughan Williams that we just heard. The soloist was Patrick Harold with the London Symphony Orchestra conducted by Bryden Thompson. And from the new year, what does it mean for the service here in Britain? And that bravery award to that woman who helped the people who were trapped on the mountainside. I'm clear of business on, on, on them basis when they keep, they keep changing the goalpost. And there, it's not even, it's not even 10 years, because 2000, 2020, my cab's off the road. Yeah. My, my cab's off the road. This, this one I'm driving now is, is, is no good to anyone because it's not going to be zero emission. Do, do, you, do you think it shows a, a, what, a fundamental lack of understanding about what, it's, what it means to be a taxi driver and, and, and how difficult it is to, to, to make a living, make a profit for it all to be worthwhile? Or, or what is it? I mean, what, 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 what isn't understood as far as you're concerned? Well, because you're working, I'm glad to say. No, no, yeah, it's, it's all right, but I see there's no one in there yet. Yeah. I'll tell you what it is. It's a total disregard for, for our trade. Remove. The two slices from the toaster, having eaten the other two items with my teeth. One of the slices with the tin sardine and the other with the black currant jam. The round top off lying on a mat. The shiny dark red, very dark red almost. Black interior reflecting the whitish pale blue sky outside. You literally believe London is full, maybe. Or maybe you think this is arrant nonsense. Time is almost 10 a.m. Silence in the kitchen. I've switched off the radio momentarily. Morphe Richards fire, which is a strange dark red metallic texture. Some of the paints craped off to reveal the 
metal underneath made a very firm decision not to make myself a cup of tea. Washing up needs to be done, but I'll do it on my return from the leafleting office and other jobs in both Deptford and Hatford. Junction 10 and the M1 remains closed northbound from uh, junction 16 to junction 18. Damage up to rugby following a serious accident. That has been uh, for uh, five and a half hours now that that has been closed. Spread with a substitute butter and sardines raked on top. I'm almost halfway through the tin. I'll slice it in half. It's 10 30 a hand to run to pick up the 47 industrial estate. Side of Lewisham in the direction of Denver, the change of bus drivers. There is Dean Christian Church of God, Boiler's House, Squeaky Gate, some kind of musical collective, blue painted. Iron service. Well, there's a lot of religious buildings here, various white vans, a baby crying out in the wilderness. Well, it's not the wilderness as such, it's the inside of a bus. Exact date that they're resuming. Heck, 
activities. I obviously don't want to do any more leafleting because of returning to my parents on Monday because of all the different new jobs at the flat. I want to try and relax a bit. Day 16, 12, 2014. Hello, Peter Dash Wayne. I called it at the office, but no one was there. Please find the four most recent sheets. I delivered all the NPC cards. Gave them to me last week.
Dr Richard Wright says there is no option for Colchester but to make the hospital work. When it comes to hospitals in an area like this, there really isn't a plan B. It might be something that goes through your mind briefly. You think, could it actually happen? Could it fail that badly that they'd have to close it? Slacking pace we near the thin and fray above the sky. Scratching needle, the noise of women dancing with women and men with men. Shadows kipping without expression across the blind of a half open door. They ceased to whirl only for a moment, and then the feet shuffled. And hanging over the floorboards and we walking towards the building smelled the odour of damp cinders and felt for a moment the black leaves settle about our ankles. So that visit paid by the Baroness Munster to uh, Mrs Acton, of which some was given at an earlier stage of this narrative. The intercourse between these two ladies had been neither free or intimate. It was not that Mrs. Acton had failed to appreciate Madame Munster's charms. On the contrary, her perception of the races of manner and conversation of her brilliant visitor had been only too <laughs> cute. Mrs. Acton was, as they said in Boston, very intense, and her impressions were apt to be too many for her. We're like a lawyer in the presence of a taunt, and I crack my lips and I grin and I grin, while someone else bakes my money in, rakes my money in. Yes, I smile a smile like the Mona Lisa, though my spirits droop like the Tower of Pisa. Yes, I chortle like a military march by Sousa, and everyone says, what a splendid loser. Knocked on the door and handed a lady three pounds of butter and got a dollar bill and a 25 cent piece in the palm of my hand. It felt like some kind of magic sheet of paper and a magic piece of silver. Time is by the past nine and I'm making an evening meal consisting of pork chop, part of an onion, three mushrooms and tinned vegetables. Plum tomatoes, sweet corn, kidney bee, chickpeas, ordinary green peas, probably a slice of bread with the main meal. Then a rifle I purchased from Iceland and a cream caramel from a previous visit to a supermarket. I don't know if it was Iceland as well.